Before I start, Jazakallah Khair, Rahmat, may Allah bless you, bless your voice, and bless your family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us all our fasting and our prayers, and make us among those who will be forgiven in the Day of Judgment. And uh, to be sure, Jesus' mercy, inshallah, by the end of this month. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us all enter paradise without fishing, inshallah. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm not going to follow the sequence of the hadith uh, for a reason that you will see in a minute. Uh, the last time I stood before you, I uh, reminded you with the hadith of uh, Sayyidina Umar, sorry, Abdullah ibn Umar, in which he uh, said that he heard the Prophet peace be upon him, uh, said that, Bunya uh, al-Islam wa ala khams, the five pillars of Islam. And uh, Hajj. Uh, this hadith of uh, this evening uh, was narrated by Mu'az ibn Jabal. He asked the Prophet, O oh, Prophet of Allah, tell me about a deed that will enter me paradise and take me away from hellfire. The Prophet ﷺ responded that you are asking a great question. And the deed is really a great deed if you really follow it. And it is easy on those whom Allah make it easy on them. And may Allah SWT make it easy on all of us. The Prophet continued, تشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله الحمد لله we all testify that Allah is the only one worth of worshiping and that Muhammad peace be upon him is his messenger. The second is to perform prayers. الحمد لله we are standing in prayers. The third is to pay the zakat charity. The fourth is to fast Ramadan. The fifth is to perform Hajj if you can. Then the Prophet continued. So he mentioned the five pillars, same like the first hadith that I mentioned before. Then the Prophet continued, said, Should I tell you about the gates of goodness? Oh Prophet Allah, please, what are the gates of goodness? He said, Fasting is safeguard, a shield, an armor, safety, security, gunnah, or jinnah. Was sadaqa tutfi al khati'a kama yutfi al ma'umar. And the charity extinguish or puts down or wipes out the, the, the uh, sin as water extinguish fire. Was salatu al rajul fi jawf al layl. And praying late at night. And then the Prophet recited at the and the letter meaning that those who gave up the comfort of the bit at late at night and stand praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the Prophet continued saying, <coughs> ألا أدلك على رأس الأمر وعموده ودوة السنام؟ Should I tell you about the head of the martyr, the backbone of it, and the apex of all? He said, please, O Prophet of Allah. He said, رأس الأمر الإسلام. The head of the martyr is just is Islam, which is just find that Allah is the only one to be worshipped and that our Prophet Muhammad is the only one. Alhamdulillah, we all testify to that. <coughs> and the backbone of this Islam is prayers. And I stressed last time on prayers, backbone. And as I mentioned last time, the, a person who's broken backbone is fully paralyzed. 
useless, hopeless. He needs help in everything. He just can't offer anything to humanity. So a Muslim without prayers is, as the Prophet Prophet between us and them means the disbelievers is prayers. So as if the prayers can take the Muslim out of Islam, if he ignores it. So it is an essential part of our faith. And I also, I also mentioned last time that if you look at the five pillars of Islam, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Rasulullah, Yiqam al-Salah, Zikah, Fasting and Charity, Shahada, only one time is, all, is enough in the lifetime to consider yourself in Islam. Zakah, I'm a poor person, poor person, I can't afford being Zakah, so it's dropped. Allah will not question me about that because I can't afford it. Uh, uh, fasting, I'm a sick person. I don't have to fast. So, uh, hajj, same thing. I can't afford making hajj. So four of the five are dropped. Salah is a must at any circumstances. If the person is sick, he can uh, 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 pray while sitting. He can sit. He has to do it even when he is laying in bed. Even if he cannot do it, he can do it only with his eyes, the lashes of his eyes. Because fast, sorry, the Salah carries all the five. And I mentioned this also last time. In the Salah, we testify that Allah is the only one, and that Muhammad is the messenger. In the Salah, we uh, sacrifice our time. As we all know in America, time is money. So the cat, the, the cat of time here, in the Salah. And uh, 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 fasting during the salah, we don't eat, we don't drink, we don't do anything. It is fasting. And Hajj, we all turn towards Mecca. So it is all five prayers are satisfied in the prayers. So it is a must. It is no escape from it. And uh, this temptation of Shaitan, I'm lazy, I will do it later. And uh, the show in the TV is exciting. Brothers, you have to turn it off. It is, it is no excuse. So when it comes to uh, uh, when the Prophet peace of name said Jinnah, fasting is a safeguard, it's a shield, armor, security, safety. We all know, and we heard this a number of times every year in Ramadan, as Prophet said, Man Sama Ramadan If the person fasts Iman and Mahsaban, Iman and out of belief. Because Allah commanded us to fast, we are fasting. Listening and obeying the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ihtisaban means we all seek the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our fasting. Amen. So out of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive, and forgive all our best sins. And the Prophet said, Man qama Ramadan, imanun ihtisaban, ufir lahu ma taqaddam in Whoever is standing in prayers like we are doing today, alhamdulillah, also again, the whole uh, Iman and Mahzaban out of belief and seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, again, the uh, uh, sins will be forgiven. All of us sins will be forgiven. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, All the rituals that we do in Islam, it is between, I mean, how sincere you are in doing it. But when it comes to fasting, no one knows really the truth about your fasting. No one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because it's between you and Allah. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward limitless reward because of the fasting. It is just, it's not like a, a, a 10 to 1 or 700 to 1. It is endless rewards. It is the season of, 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 of rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we know, fasting is also part of patience because we are holding ourselves from eating and drinking and following <coughs> our desires. It is we are really patient in doing that. And the last one in the Quran said what? Uh, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pay back for those who practice patience limitless endless rewards. So fasting is one of the patience. 
And the Prophet also said that uh, 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 by the end of the last night of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sins for those who fast. Then the companions asked the Prophet, is this the last, is this the night of Qadr? He said, no. It's when you hire somebody to do a job for you. Once he finishes, you pay him back. So once we finish the fasting of Ramadan, Allah pays us back by forgiving, forgiving all our sins. So now how great fasting is. And I remember, uh, I have a co-worker, he is not a Muslim. But from time to time he comes and uh, tells me some jokes, and uh, sometimes very good, uh, funny jokes. And one time he uh, told me this joke. He said that uh, there was a small island, and a uh, few thousands living on the island, and among them an old righteous man, very much loved by everybody. And uh, the weather broadcast said that this island is going to all be flooded. Everybody has to leave. So the campers in the mainland sent ships to carry the people from the island to the mainland because it's going to be flooded. So the ships, one ship after another, every ship comes to carry people. They try to, they beg the man, please join us, come with us. It's really serious. No, 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 no. you can go. I will ship God for all my life, and I'm sure God will save me. Every ship comes, this is what it is. He never listens to them. And then the last ship came. They told him, we're not coming anymore. Either you come with us, or that's it. He said, don't worry about it, God will save me. The flood came and wiped the whole island, including this old man. He died. Then he went to heaven. He met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He told them, how come I have shaped you all my life, expected you to save my life? Why didn't you do it? Of course, as I said, the person telling the story, the joke, he's not Muslim. He said, Allah and the God respond back to him, are you kidding? I sent you ship after ship after ship, and the people keep begging you to join them. You never listen. Don't blame me, blame yourself. SubhanAllah, when I look at it, I reflect on this. You see, this is Ramadan is a ship of safety and security. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending ship after ship, Ramadan after Ramadan after Ramadan. And for how long we keep ignoring it? SubhanAllah, it might be the last ship, the last Ramadan for anybody. We all know that there are many brothers and sisters that they were among us last year. Not anymore this year. No one can guarantee that he's going to live to the next Ramadan. So I urge brothers and sisters to take it seriously because I see the enthusiasm, the, the energy that is there among all of us at the beginning of Ramadan. And then it goes down. Although the Prophet is was urging everybody around him to increase the, 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 the efforts by the end of Ramadan, but we he, he, I mean, tend to go down in, in, in making the efforts and taking advantage of the blessings of Ramadan. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the energy and to, 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 to really uh, get the most out of it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of us uh, in his brother, inshallah, give us and, and 